Metropolis twice in one day seems you've been busy. You knew about my doctor's appointment? I hope you got the results you wanted. Let me guess, this little dog and pony show was your idea. Well, I'm just a believer in journalism that shows both sides of an issue. This is not journalism. It's all volume, no substance. <laughs> Ouch, well, that would hurt if our ratings went right through the roof. Gordon Godfrey, good to see you. Thanks for coming down on such short notice. Didn't have much of a choice. I see your point, and Superman, Superman, <laughs> Superman in the building, let me tell you. It is. It's quite an honor. It's just Clark. Oh, is it? Okay. Well, just Clark, I should be should be cross with you for giving that exclusive to Janet Olson, that hack. Why, that was a Nielsen gift basket wrapped up in advertising gold, I can tell you that much. Can we just get this over with? Sure, let's do that. I'm Switzerland. All right? Totally impartial. I just want to give you and Lex Luthor a chance to tell you a version of the events. My version's the truth. Of course. Um, why don't we uh, kick you on over to makeup? I'm Sandy touch you up. This is television, not print. And then we'll get the show on the road. What do you think? Gonna be great. Be right here. Sandy! Don't worry, big guy. I'll take good care of her. I never met Pia Mannheim until after I started my cancer treatment. And yet earlier, Lex Luthor implied that wasn't true. Can you prove it? Can he? I mean, he's the one claiming I knew Pia for years. Where's the evidence? I think the circumstances speak for themselves. Moving on, changing subjects. Before we came on air, you told me about Superman assaulting you in Smallville. Clark didn't assault him. He came to my home and called me out to fight. How would you describe that? You're the one who had red solar lights installed to dull his powers. For protection. I knew your husband would come for me. Because you had tried to have Lana Lang murdered in her home. Well, that, that is quite a serious accusation. Which Mayor Lang will corroborate. Mayor Lang, your friend. Just like Otis Grisham, the man who attacked her is your friend. I'll admit that I knew Otis from my time at Strikers, but we weren't friends. Far from it. In fact, Otis and his friends beat me to within an inch of my life. And yet he's been working for you ever since you got out. Then you must have evidence. The payout, photos of him and I together. Maybe his testimony. Otis was found hanging in his cell three hours ago. And let me guess, I'm the one that murdered him. I think the circumstances speak for themselves. Hmm. You see, the difference between you and me is that when I make an accusation, I have evidence to back it up. Get out of here! This is over. We are going to end you. You and your wife need to stop trying to set me up. Stop lying! After which, Lois breaks into my apartment with her other super-powered son. John didn't even have powers then. Sure he did. Well, I have to say, Miss Lane, this evidence is quite convincing. Of course you'd say that. You helped set up this ambush. Ambush, please. I'm just doing my job as a journalist. Editorializing isn't being a journalist. It's being a carnival barker. Ha! Huh. Fortunately, when I make an accusation, I also have something to back it up, or in this case, someone. Well, let me guess, your husband. No. His daughter, 